One of the unique things about the sound of that EP is that the DI bass, is there any particular reason why you guys recorded with a DI bass instead of like actually like miking up Mike's bass? If that makes sense, the question? We actually did mic it um, as well, but it was in the garage. So hmm. we didn't really have space uh, at London Bridge to isolate it. Hmm. Right. So we tried in the garage and it was just, the garage just, you know, was very buzzy and things. So I recorded it, but I didn't ever put it in the record. Gotcha. Okay. So, so the, basically you guys use the DI because it just sounded better than the actual, like properly mic'd up band. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, that, that was the, the, uh, the garage at London bridge was the only space left, um, to put it, you know, some kind of isolation of an amp. And so when we cranked it up in there, just everything started rattling, and, you know, so couldn't use it. That's funny. <laughs> but, you know, I think we did all right with what we had. Yeah, I think it sounds great. Um, is it because of, I guess, the time constraint to make the EP? You didn't have the time to disassemble the other isolation booths and reset it up for mics? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, because I had Jerry set up in this, you know, in a booth, and then the vocals were out on the floor, and, you know... Um, out in the corner and then you know the drums were always set up and you know so we had everything going at the same time hmm. right and so it was you know it was just space efficient yeah. to put mike's bass in the garage and you know we didn't have time to all right well let's do bass overdubs now and that never happened <laughs> that's cool. hey it's going off that's cool hey guys the following is a clip from one of my other alice and chains interviews with engineer jonathan plum where he talks about the story behind the DI bass and guitar sound on Jar of Flies. The full interview for this is also linked below. So when it came to the acoustic guitar on Nutshell, do you remember working on that? So usually in the studio, if you're gonna record acoustic guitar, you're gonna put a microphone on it. Like you can plug an acoustic guitar in, they call it a DI, like a direct instrument, and there's a, a distinctive sound difference. So like if you plug in, like a lot of acoustic guitars will have a little like pickups in it. And that's what most musicians will use live. So if you ever see someone playing live with an acoustic guitar, they almost never put a microphone on it. It's just coming a, a, off a little pickup inside the guitar. And it has a very kind of more electric sound where when you're in the studio, you can use a microphone and that sounds more like a natural instrument. So what I saw on, on when they came in for Jar of Flies, they were moving so fast. And I think Jerry had probably just written the songs on acoustic guitar. The producer just plugged his acoustic guitar straight into the board and he just sat in the control room. He never put a microphone on the acoustic guitar. And the same thing was the bass. So Mike Inez brought like this acoustic bass that had a DI, a little pickup in it. And so I think Jerry and, and Lane both sat in the control room and it was almost like, let's just get these ideas down. You just plug this in, let's go. And you just hit record. And, and I kept thinking like, well, eventually they're gonna go back and like get guitar amps or like at least mic the guitar up in the studio because they were playing in the control room. And I remember thinking like, and personally, like I don't like the sound of a acoustic instrument, a DI and acoustic instrument. It just sounds just electronic and fake to me a little bit. So I, I, the whole time I was thinking, well, they're going to go back and redo all this stuff. And so that's why I just thought they're just fucking around in the control room, you know, but that's what they kept. And so when you hear like the, the bass on that song, or it's all um, none of that's going through an amp. It's an acoustic bass with a pickup in it. That's all DI. And it's kind of like that's the least... That's like the worst case scenario. Like if someone was to tell me like, you got to record a record with an acoustic guitar, except it has to be all DI. I'd be like, no way, that's going to sound awful. But that's what they did and they made it work. Hmm. So what do you think of the sound of the acoustics on Nutshell? It worked. I mean, Toby made it work. And, and I think Sean, he's playing with dowels. You can hear he's playing, you know, he's not doing the big rock thing. So it's, it's kind of softer. But uh, kind of, I kind of wondered, I always wondered what it would have sounded like if they had like actually mic'd up the acoustic guitar and intentionally made it sound more sort of organically acoustic. Because it's kind of, that's kind of a weird sound. I mean, I don't know any record that's built around that specific acoustic direct sound. I mean, you just don't hear that very often. You hear it live, like live performances, you'll hear that kind of acoustic sound, but not, it's usually not by choice. So I think it's, I don't think they did that by choice. I think it just, happened you know listening to it now it's unique it's got a, a bite to it like those acoustic guitars in the bass it has this bite to it that it's not electric you know it's not really a rock record but it does have this kind of like it's a little not pretty you know it's sort of edgy and a little metallic sounding which i think kind of fits bridges the gap between alice and shane sort of being acoustic and soft but still having that really like you know edge to it
you know, now that I think about it, it's it's really unique what they did. And I don't think it was by design. I think it just happened. It was more out of just going quickly. Hmm, that's cool. So speaking of DI, what did you think of Unplugged? Yeah, that's interesting. That actually, that's a good um, example of what those instruments sound like. That's maybe one of the other settings where you would hear instruments plugged in that way is is the those MTV Unplugged. Because Pearl Jam did it too. All those bands, like that. that's the sound and it's kind of wonky. And especially, I don't know, I think we all felt that way when we saw that. It was like, well, they sound great, but we want to hear them rock out, you know? I, I thought they did great. 